Hello to all of you, it has been a long time I haven't been releasing uh, any video, so I thought I would have a good idea trying to compare these two shoes. Yes indeed, it has been almost two months that Nike has released uh, the whole new model, the Nike Alpha Fly, especially made for uh, the like uh, elite marathoners, or uh, at least that's the marketing uh, behind it. It was uh, released in a very limited way because they wanted and they had to do it. They must comply with the World Athletic Association, so before the Olympic trials, and for sure they were not expecting that the Olympic Games would be postponed to 2000. 21. So they have a marketing situation because no, they need to find a way to release, to find a window to release this, uh, this, uh, this new pair to uh, the general public. This only means one thing, it's that in the upcoming weeks we are gonna see a lot lot of fake pair of Nike Alpha Fly on the market. So be aware and that gave me an idea. Actually, I'm following an Instagram account called, called Protos of the Gram, uh, which gives some like insight about the new pairs uh, coming from different brands, etc. And they posted a picture of uh, some fake Nike Alpha Fly. And I thought, it would be cool to compare like the real Alpha Fly against the fake Alpha Fly. What are the differences and how different they perform? And that's what we are gonna do today. So have you found which one is the real and which one is the fake or which one is the fake and which one is the real? It's not easy, right? So I will tell you the truth. This one is the real Nike Alpha Fly while this one is is just a fake but it's a very good fake <laughs> in that case i can tell you we will keep it because i did a, a, a release uh, a video of uh, the nike alpha fly the real one obviously so we can focus on this one and check all the small differences we can see compared to the real one and it all lies in the details i have to say that the guys who are behind the fake nike alpha fly are really good because it's very difficult to see at first sight what the differences are with a real Nike Alpha Fly, especially if you never had one in hand. So we will have a closer look at it. And uh, I, I noticed quite a few differences. Obviously, when you look at it like this, you are just saying it's a perfect job. It's in case isn't. Obviously, you can't ask a pair of shoes with, which is costing maybe like, I don't know, $20 or less to have the same feeling, have the same quality of a pair of shoes who is costing way more to produce, especially with a carbon plate. And I will focus on the differences. So if you ever see one in real, you can almost immediately check if it's a not uh, a real pair of a Nike Alpha Fly. Uh, the main differences I saw um, are this one. First, you can see uh, the insole. And on the real Nike Alpha Fly, the real insole is like glue. You you can't remove it. You have really to do like ah this if you want to remove it here. It's very easy. So this is the first real difference I I, I quite notice. Uh, there is a difference as well with the the back, the heel, the upper heel. It's like you know the width is very large compared to the real Nike Alpha Fly. I will I will take it. So you 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 can really compare both and see that the size is almost uh, the, the double. There is another difference and uh, this one was something I noticed and I was really amazed when I, uh, I did the review of the real Nike Alpha Flight. It's that uh, with their new upper, the, they call it the Atom Knit. You can see through the shoes. Actually, I can see the camera here. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so lightweight. But on the fake Nike Alpha Fly, you just can't. It's impossible. And there is a real differences uh, between uh, the two shoes. There is obviously more to compare when we are discussing these two shoes. And there is something I, I, I notice which is uh, quite interesting because it's not something that you will notice at first sight when uh, you are dealing with the real Nike Alpha Fly. It's the laces. When you have the real Nike Alpha Fly and you take the laces, it's amazing and that's just know that i'm like realizing this how strong are the laces like you can feel it it won't move it won't break apart no chance but for the fake nike alpha fly 
ah, it's not good, it's not good. It's like, it's elastic, it's very thin. And, and you can see here, I'm, I'm getting close to the cam that if I keep doing this, they will just break in pieces. I, I, I'm not seeing myself running a marathon with <laughs> a fake pair of Nike Alpha Flies, or at least with these laces. I'm not sure they will keep up with 42 kilometers. But with all this, we didn't even discuss the two main differences between the real and the fake Nike Alpha Fly, and it's the carbon plate and the weight. I had the chance to review the real Nike Alpha Fly a few weeks ago, and I said that for the first time on the Nike model, we were able to see the carbon plate. And apart the aesthetic design of it, I thought that maybe Nike have did this to prevent like uh, the fake uh, model of the Nike Alpha Fly because when you touch a carbon plate or you touch carbon it's it's carbon you can immediately feel it and obviously when you have a carbon and you try to uh, compress the shoes it's quite difficult <laughs> Now, when it comes to the fake Nike Alpha Fly, it's not quite the same story. But I have to say that at least they did a great job for the foam at the back. It's quite similar to the feeling of the real Nike Alpha Fly one, but that's it. When you go on the front, then it's a total different feeling. And you can see that the quality is absolutely not matching the one of the real Nike Alpha Fly first, the air zoom pods. The pressure, the PSI inside it looks to be fairly low. You can really like squeeze it, which is not the case with the real Nike Alpha Fly. And <laughs> I had a good laugh with this. The carbon plate, it, it, it's not carbon, it's just plastic and you can really feel it. And what I thought was very funny is that I actually opened the shoes to see if uh, the carbon plastic plate was going all along the shoes and it's absolutely not the case because once you get to the foam you can see that there is no more plastic so the result is fairly expectable i would say you can just press it like a shamalo this is pure shit before we jump into the data comparison, because at the end of the day, that's what matters the most, we still have to discuss one thing, which is the weight. We know that the real Nike Alpha Fly is already heavier than the Nike Vaporfly Next, because this one is 240 grams. Yes, it's quite a lot, I would say, compared to the Nike Vaporfly Next, but you earn so much instability, like with the hair zoom pod. But it's nothing compared to the fake Nike Alpha Fly, which is sitting at a weight of 300 grams. Yes, that's a tank. And it's 30% more than the real Nike Alpha Fly. At that point, you just can't compare. Now that we have discussed the differences of the fake Nike Alpha Fly compared to the real Nike Alpha Fly in terms of aesthetic, in terms of material used, it's time to jump into the data comparison. And for this, I will need the, the help of the treadmill. What I like with the treadmill is that you are in a complete control environment. I mean, you are setting the pace of the treadmill and what you have to do is just like to adjust, to adapt, to keep up with the pace. It doesn't care if you can or if you can't. So what we are gonna do is that I will set the treadmill at 1% incline with a sub 3 marathon pace, which is roughly 14 kilometers per hour. Then I will run one kilometer with the real Nike Alpha Fly and one kilometer with the fake Nike Alpha Fly. That will help to compare obviously the heart rate and the power output. For this, I will be helped, you maybe have seen this already, by Street. Street is a power meter and it's very useful to compare like the efficiency and the return uh, of energy of each shoes. You will see, I think there are gonna be a lot of differences. Let's go. I'm starting with a fake pair of Nike Alpha Fly and the first thing I'm noticing is that the shoes is way too big for me. I mean, I, I'm using a 10 American size for uh, all my shoes and uh, at least my Nike shoes and like my pair of Alpha Fly is fitting me perfectly. But this fake <laughs> pair of Nike Alpha Fly, oh my gosh, it's like, okay, I will do one kilometer, but yeah, that's it. I can really notice that you don't have the carbon plate because like it feel like as I said a shamalo you are like getting so deep into the foam of the shoes it's a complete nightmare to run with it 
Ok, one kilometer done with the fake Nike Alpha Fly. Thanks God, <laughs> I have to say. And jumping into the real one, and uh, you can feel the difference like immediately because the carbon plate is making all the difference. You are moving forward. They are like propulsing you forward, and you you can feel this. And oh, what a pleasure it is to to run again into the real Nike Alpha Fly. One kilometer to go, and uh, we are gonna compare the differences at the end. And it's done. Yeah, we have recorded all the data needed between the fake Nike Alpha Fly against the real Nike Alpha Fly, and it's time to compare them. Quite frankly, I'm very excited because I felt a lot of differences while running, and I'm sure it's gonna match on on, on the results. So yeah, we are gonna open the Street Power Center, and we are gonna extract uh, this uh, to one kilometer loop. Remember, it's done at uh, a sub three marathon pace for both, so roughly uh, 14 kilometers per hour. The treadmill is at 1% incline and the room temperature is the same, 22 degrees. We are gonna start with the fake Nike Alpha Fly data. They are loading right on your screen and what we are looking after are the watts and the average heart rate. So the watts are at 264 while the BPM on average are at 100. 43. This is important, keep it in mind because it's your point of reference and now we are gonna check the real Nike Alpha Fly data and to be honest when I discovered this I was speechless. Yeah because the difference is huge. We have 5 watts of difference to keep up the same pace on the treadmill. It's absolutely huge for someone of my weight. I'm 66 kilos which means actually that on a marathon I, I could save 5 minutes with the real Nike Alpha Fly compared to the fake pair of Nike Alpha Fly. And this is like a linear comparison. But you have to take into account the BPM. We have as well five BPM of difference, which means that I could get more watts for the same BPM for the two shoes. So at the end of the day, hmm, I think I could make a difference of eight to 10 minutes between the two on a marathon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question in mind, feel free to comment. I think I will do some other shoes comparison in the next few weeks. I've got some ideas in mind. In between, don't forget to subscribe. And regarding this fake pair of Nike Alpha Fly, I can only see one option. And it's directly to the trash. See you soon.